previously on Final Fantasy VII Remake. Guys, I'm going to save Aerith without you, all right? I've learned the power the power of flight. I have no need for you mere mortals anymore. I should probably try to get down from here. Cloud, what are you doing up there? I don't know. And now back to my childhood. Hello! Sneako B! Back with some more Final Fantasy VII Remake. When we last left off, we ascended to heaven. And by heaven, I mean hell, because we're at Shinra headquarters. We're fucking death awaits us all. We're the most comically evil motherfuckers work. And then a bunch of poor grunts who, who get pushed around and probably don't get paid sick leave. And I gotta say, I really liked that last, last section, how they expanded upon the, the climbing part. Definitely had a lot more involved than the original, which was really just kind of like, you just climb a wall, you find some treasure, and you, you awkwardly try to grab onto a fucking pipe that goes back and forth. And I remember, I still remember the trick to that. I, I figured out as a kid, the trick was you have to wait till the sound effect literally stops. Because there's a moment where the, the pipe squeaks like, eh! and the moment the sound effect stops playing, that's when you press the button and you get it every time. No, but no, we didn't have that. Although I will say the only thing I found a little disappointing was that they didn't play the any kind of version of the song of da 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 which I, I really like that song. It's very, very motivating. Got me fucking pumped. Though that's it. Not this not to say the music they played there was bad. No. Every song in this game is a fucking masterpiece and it's ridiculous. You know what's even more ridiculous though? The fact that there is 150 songs in this game. I actually just purchased the uh, the digital uh, soundtrack for this game. 150 songs. That's what's on there. 150 fucking songs. Now, granted, a lot of the you know music, like the bat regular battle theme, has like a million different versions of it. But the interesting thing is they're they're really quite different from each other. It's not like like you're like listening to one, you're like, is this like the exact same song? It's they're all like unique and different and it's so fucking cool that they went and did that like seriously they could have like cut that down by like a third and just been like like one or two verses of each each song called it a day they're like nah we're gonna do it for like each individual scene and uh make it uh fit in even more with uh each relevant battle or boss battle or whatever and it's just goddamn man they, they seriously went so fucking hard into this soundtrack i i cannot applaud them enough by the way, if you're worried, I'm not going to... Don't worry, I'm not going to spoil myself. I know there's probably songs in there that might be spoilery in the soundtrack. I've really only looked through, like, the first third of it. <laughs> oh, but though I did actually realize something um, that didn't really hit me until I went back and listened to it, but the Bex Badasses song is actually the song that was originally the Wall Market theme. Like, the Wall Market theme they have here is actually a song that's totally new. Like, it wasn't in the original. But I was like, what happened to the other one? It was there. It was just... It was used for the Bex Badasses. So it actually might be that the song that I'm thinking of here when you're climbing up either has already shown up somewhere else or will show up later. Uh, but anyway, last episode, uh, Terry McMillan said, in regards to uh, when Cloud uh, started floating in the sky earlier, at long last, Cloud has become one with his true nature. <laughs> yes, uh, yes, of course. The developers clearly intended for that to happen. All right, guys, it wasn't a bug. It was a feature. Cloud just, he ascended to the heavens. I unlocked God Cloud mode, but my mind just couldn't fathom the sweet power I had in front of me. I couldn't break free from my chains. That's why I, I couldn't control it. I had to load the game back up. It was too broken in so many ways. <laughs> yeah, that was a pretty, I was, I was that was a pretty funny glitch. On the, on the, in the price, I was able to load it up too. So at least it wasn't, uh, didn't really put me too far behind. But yeah, I gotta say, unfortunately, uh, that's definitely one of the big sticky points against this game is the game's performance. This game feels like a next-gen game that is on a current-gen console. Like, there's so many things. Like, this game just looks amazing 90% of the time. And then ten other 10% is full of weird texture popping, strange glitches with character models moving around, me, me phasing through uh, invisible walls like that. Though a lot of that also is just the fact that there hasn't been a fucking patch yet. I mean, right? We're still here. We're still at fucking 1.0. Two uh, months after this. Yep. Unbelievable, man. Please give me an update. I want one. But I can't wait to see this game on a next-gen console. You know, I want to see this shit like a 60 FPS 
with all the, the textures just loaded in from the get-go not having to get these lower shitty looking ones all the time and then this game's gonna be like wow was, you're basically playing through an even better looking avon shoulder movie but anyway terry thank you so much for your hilarious comment and it's for that reason you are our comment of the day so anyway you guys left me some more tips one thing you guys actually told me apparently i actually missed uh, a couple of things in the uh chapter for the last chapter before we started ascending the wall uh, there was a song that uh, a lady had uh, between Wall Market and Sector 5 on the path, but I didn't see it because I think I fast traveled and never actually walked along it. And also, you actually could have seen wh who was moaning in the, the sex dungeon room and was like, help me, help, uh, if I went back after I had left the sewers before. So that's kind of a bummer. But on the bright side, I went and fucking did it anyway. That's right. I went off screen and I went back and I got it and I redid last chapter. So <laughs> Because I'm fucking crazy. I mean, to be fair, it wasn't like... The last chapter wasn't that long. Once you knew what you were doing. God, I actually melted that fucking boss of the last one. And just knowing, like, okay, electricity and what his gimmick was. Like, I beat him so fast. Um, but it was the Turks theme. So, uh, I thought this would actually be the last one. Because I think you're supposed to get a trophy once you've gotten all of the uh, jukebox themes. Uh, but it actually isn't. So, I've gotten... Uh, 1 to 30, and there's no missing ones in between, but there uh, does not seem to be a trophy yet, which means there must be some that go a go uh, above 30. And similarly, the uh, uh, the guy was going, oh, in that one room, uh, I would have shown it, but it wasn't really anything. It was just basically, uh, like in the original game, one of uh, Don Corneo's uh, henchmen was like strapped to the one of the like torture device things. It was just left there. It was Koch. It was one of the guys who fought in the arena. He set him free and he's like, oh, thanks, man. The Dark Corneo left us to get fucking rot. Anyway, I'm going to go. And then he runs and he leaves behind some chakra material. So, which is okay, I guess. I mean, you guys say apparently chakra does become very useful, at least for like post game stuff. But I will say for right now, it feels like fucking garbage. <laughs> I, it's supposed to be like the 40% of the HP you've lost or the damage you've taken. But I, I don't know. I, I haven't really... Had a moment where I've used Chakra and been like, man, that really helped me out a lot. I've got 6,000 HP. I'm going to use this. Oh, I got 400 HP. Fuck you. I don't know. I'm sure it'll, I'm sure it'll come in handy later, but uh, for right now, it's not really uh, high on my list to level up. I just find that every time I use it, it's always... It, I, I'm always disappointed. All right. And also, in uh, regards to what was going on with the Corneo's key, I was really kind of confused about because I was like, wait, weren't we supposed to report back to the reporter guy? Because I ended up going to Kyrie before I went into that area uh, where we found the angel's message before. I kind of missed a cutscene, which I actually started to think maybe that was the case, which basically the angel showed up, you know, the old lady uh, saying that, oh, uh, if you find the treasure from Don Caneo, what are you going to do with them? We're like, oh, we're going to use it to help her build Sector 7 or something. So there's where it ties into that and where we get the idea to do it. I see. Okay. I was kind of surprised to actually let you just skip over that part. But I, so many of the, the the quests in that area also kind of overlapped with each other. So I suppose it's not that surprising. All right. And you guys also said apparently the thing with the enemy skill material, it wasn't actually the reason why I didn't learn it uh, that one time wasn't so much that I had to be in in battle phase uh, to be able to learn it. It was because enemy skills aren't it's because they only have a set chance of being learned but not a hundred percent chance because apparently you've seen people who actually have managed to learn uh the self-destruct move after a fight ended that is also kind of stupid to be honest it, whether it's you have to learn it by still being in a battle or you only have a set chance of learning it but it's not a hundred percent chance either of those i find really baffling a baffling design choice because the original game, you didn't need it. It wasn't like a chance of it happening. It just happened. But maybe the fact that you, you can look in your enemy intel really easily and see when there's a, a skill that you need to learn from somebody. So they're like, well, we don't need to make it 100% chance. Make it so easy. It's just, especially since there's four in the game. But I I disagree. I kind of wish they had just made it automatic if, if that really is the case. Okay, I think that's about everything. But you guys also gave me a tip for later on, which I'll uh, bring up when we get there. It looks like we're gonna be just like the original game we have two options here the loud way and the quiet way loud way being you break in through the front door and the quiet way being you take a slightly alternative route and you know me guys i love my stealthy shit and also in the original game the, the quiet way it was fucking hilarious and i hope it's just as hilarious in this one all right i i will say also in the original game i really 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 liked the the shinra uh, headquarters infiltration part there's just something really fun about it 
with like each floor of Shinra headquarters having like a different theme and things for you to do. It was uh, very enjoyable. So I'm really looking forward to seeing how they, they handle it here. It's a door. God, seriously, the, the scope of this thing. Now, now I just like, now this building feels truly foreboding. Security is looking pretty tight. Huh. So they know what they're up against. Yeah. Somehow, I don't think it's all for us. Could be for Avalanche. Or maybe even Wutai. Can't be for Wutai. What about the ceasefire? That only put the war on pause. Hmm. Yeah, it's really interesting how so much Wutai is being brought up in this game. When it was barely mentioned in the original game. We're here to rescue Aerith, remember? We don't need more attention than what we're gonna get. We need to be smart. Yeah, I hear you. But my soul's screaming for payback, you know? I'm a ticking time bomb. And sooner or later, I'm gonna have to blow up. Well, then make it later. <laughs> that's why Bear wants to go in loud and proud. Not give a fuck. But come on, Bear, that's not hilarious. That's just sad. It's not sad, it's awesome. Badass! Ain't you ever seen a Die Hard movie, Cloud? Bruce Willis is a fucking terrible actor. You take that back, Cloud! You take that back! <laughs> Motherfucker! I swear to God, I will shoot you right here, right now! Alright, hold on. Give me. Give me his chest. And we got stuff over here. No music. I will say, I mean, there's... 30, I have 30 songs here so far, but I was actually thinking it would be, it would be a little strange if there wasn't any new uh, songs that I would get while going to Shinra HQ, because the Shinra HQ, the original game, was pretty extensive. Like, there was a lot going on, and I, I can only imagine they're going to expand on it even more in this game, so... God, I, have, I still have 99 potions, because I keep finding them in boxes. Unfortunately, potions are kind of useless now, and it's, like, super slow even to just heal yourself with them. I think it's another thing, too, the fact that you can't like, I don't think you can, right? You can't just go in a menu and... No. I can't go into a menu and just quickly use potions on myself. I have to actually do it like this. Which does kind of suck a little bit because it's so slow when you're, like, trying to heal yourself with them. And I think I kind of wish they let us just, like, open the menu. Like, I mean, I think it's cool they gave us the op... They, they let us do it here like this. But I kind of wish they also gave us the option to just do it in the menu when we're out of a battle. That way, if I have like 99 potions, I can just spam them and not have to sit here out, out of a battle and watch Cloud slowly toss them in the air to heal everybody. Because that really does make the potions kind of useless. Like we see the highway and stuff. Uh-oh. That one there. That's a Shinra truck, isn't it? Come on. Duh. <laughs> oh, maybe we don't have a choice this time. I didn't pick anything there. Underground parking garage. Universally, you went. You can go in straight through the front door and just be like, fuck it, go crazy and like kill everybody. How's it looking out there? How the hell did they not see us? Slice their heads off. Ser seriously, I'm a... Anything? Nah. <laughs> clear. Roger. We're not even like lying flat against it. We're just like, <laughs> we're okay, sitting upright. <sighs> we ain't got so any. Far, so good. <laughs> Oh, damn it, Barrett. <laughs> well, uh, so much for that. Where'd you come from? Where the hell are you? Nowhere. I, I came from nowhere. We're also guards on duty. Except one of us has a gun for an arm. Flying first aid. Shitty first aid. Ah, oh, we're also stuck using these shitty potions. God. Suck all this. Boom. 
Boom, baby. Oh god, still dudes. Cloud. Bring it on. The idea was to not get noticed. Yeah, fuck that. Oh my god. Holy fuck! I just killed like six guys there. Let's keep moving. Should be a service entrance in the back. Da, 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 da. Yeah, maybe we don't have an option this time. It seems like we're already trying to just go the sneaky way. I mean, to be fair, the original, you know, option of just going in through the front door in the in the uh, the OG game was uh, was kind of ridiculous, hilarious, but also like, what the fuck are we thinking? <laughs> situation. Can't get in contact with HQ. Did they do this? No idea. Hey, guys. Get ready. Ah! I really like the uh, disorder move, honestly. Just how you can transition between uh, your light and heavy attacks with it. Shit. Shit. Whoa! Uh, okay, third class soldiers again. Uh-oh. Murder! Oh, fuck, they have a fucking blade beam. Oh, that's actually right. I remember that move. They, they, these guys actually did have that move in the original game, too. It's like, wind scar! Ah! Level up for Tifa and me. Would kill for a shower. Ugh, I could just kill to take off my sweaty, icky clothes. Ugh, but then everyone would learn I'm not really wearing a bra. Okay, Tifa, Jesus, we get it. <laughs> all these boxes are in all these areas. Woo! <laughs> I'm pretty sure they're just empty. Just waiting for somebody to come over and just go bah! through them. Yeah, seriously, this is one thing I've enjoyed the most of all these, you know, these current generation games is the hilarious physics. Seriously, this shit. Never gets old. Ah, uh, ha, ha. Uh, as far as my inner carry you. Guys, music. Uh, okay, where am I going? This side? Dun, 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 dun. They decided to whip out the elite security guard, finally. You know, maybe if you guys had been trying to kill me earlier, you would have actually succeeded. Instead of me getting strong enough to kick your monkey ass. Eat this. Ah! Never mind, you're kicking my ass. I'm sorry. Oh, God. Cloud's dead. Cloud died that day. Oh, these fucking grenadiers. And then he died again. Yeah, these guys gotta fucking go. Every time they show up, you gotta go after them immediately because they do so much damage to you. Fuck! Ah! Okay, what we got? A Molotov cocktail. I have not used, like, hardly any of the freaking uh, attack items I've gotten, which is basically exactly like the original games for me. Seriously, I, I hardly ever used attack items in, the, in uh, Final Fantasy VII OG. Actually, to be honest, I don't use it much in any of the Final Fantasy games when, when they are available. It's mostly just, I don't know, I don't really need it. It's a big parking garage full of shit. Hello, Riot Shield guys. We seem to clearly know we're here. Is the Huntsman over there? Up, up, now he's the Huntsman. In no action is his cry. Uh, nope. A bunch of elite dudes. It's a goal in there. Uh, God, you think these guys were enough to wear? Fire weak suits, right? Everybody here is weak to fire. Here, have some fire. You get some fire, and you get some fire. And oh fuck, I'm stunned. Damn it, Barrett! Ah, skill master material level up. Oh fuck! Ah, punch the shit out of this guy! Ah. Boom! Oh. All right, one material level up. Come on. 
bust out of the garage. We're doing the battle intel here. All right, we got eight of these now. Four left. I think I think I have them all equipped. Yeah, revival, which is going to take a long time. Time materia is getting there. Just got one materia. Subversion materia and binding materia. And those are also getting there. Subversion is quite close. Two mega potions. Oh, nice sliding open doors. Thank you. How very convenient. Anybody in there? No. Ooh, look at this. We got some escalators. Oh, this is going to be so fucking cool. Going through the big fancy Shinra headquarters. But now in beautiful high definition. Ah, I'm just going to take this time to chill out as the floor carries me to the top. That's a lot more like it. Wow. Oh my god. Nobody's home. Really? What? Yeah. Right at the entrance, though. Do you have any idea where they might be holding Aerith? I'm thinking a research facility. That'd make the most sense. And where is that? Upper floors. Maybe near the top. That's where you are. <sighs> Maybe. What? <laughs> Maybe we can use the console at the reception desk to find out. Ooh, this music's new. This building's incredible. Huh. A shining monument to corporate greed. One of these days, I'm gonna tear it down and burn the rubble. But not today. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, seriously, how the fuck is there nobody hanging out in the entrance here? No soldiers anywhere in the lobby? Like, nah, there's, there's no way that anyone can possibly get inside. I'm just gonna hang out the outside. I don't know about you, but... I don't think we should try touching it. But I want to. Making life hard. Let's just keep heading up. I'm gonna try touching it anyway. See, it's fine. But ah, Claw actually backed away from it. See, I'm fine. Some weird shit right there. I see you. I see some shiny thing in there. Okay, the real question though is at some point when we run to a locker room, and in that locker room, will there be a locked locker? And in that locked locker, will there be case this ultimate weapon? Actually, no, 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 it wasn't locked. You find it, you find it in the original game, but you don't see a purpose to it. You're like, this is just some megaphone. So you put it back. When you don't realize it's case this ultimate weapon. Cloud, you picked up so many useless, seemingly useless things throughout this game. Why do you suddenly decide that this is the one useless thing you won't pick up? That's what I always asked myself as a kid. Oh good, another Moogle Medal. I'm still getting Moogle Medals? Oh, fuck me. That makes me nervous. At some point, I'm going to run to that Moogle kid in here. And he's going to be like, look at all the new shit I got. I'm like, fuck you. I spit all of my Moogle medals already. Wow. This actually looks quite a bit different than the uh, original. I think I think it's because of these weird force fields. Oh, my God. It's the vehicles. Where is it? It's going to be in there. Actually, that that truck there, that's definitely, the I think, an important one. Oh, actually, now think about it. the The one that I'm thinking of is not... It's not gonna be down here. It's gonna be upstairs. So how do we get upstairs? Either the elevator or the emergency stairwell. Isn't the lab we're looking for on one of the top floors? I vote we take the elevator. Oh my God! No, here we go. Oh no, there it is. <gasps> oh baby, oh baby, this looks kind of familiar. This looks kind of familiar. For anyone who watched that unboxing video I did, did for the Super Mega Ultra Deluxe Edition. But nah, it's probably just coincidence. It's probably just going to stay here this entire game and not have any point or use whatsoever. But yeah, you know what? I actually look back at the old game, how the bike used to look. And uh, yeah, this is definitely... They, they updated it quite a bit. The other, the other one actually just looked more like a regular Harley Davidson. This definitely looks a little more like Fenrir in a lot of ways from uh, Avid Children. But I like it. It's like it's kind of like a, like a mixture of the two. Like, not quite as... 
crazy spin mirror, but like a little crazier than the original. Ooh, the cafeteria. Ooh. Ooh. Oh God, chairs. Uh. <laughs> it's like just throw these things aside. Brah. Brah. Oh, I got a few ways to go. Emergency exit. Exhibition hall. Uh, I don't think I, I'm probably gonna be able to go in here. Unauthorized key cards required, of course. Okay, that's still not good. No getting upstairs without a key card, huh? I think we're gonna need a few before this is over. Pretty sure I saw one lying around. Found the force field. Yeah. Oh, the reception desk. Yeah, but how to get in? Whack it! Through the top? Go up and over, maybe? Look. Yeah. Pretty sure we could reach it if we hop across those lights. Oh my god. Okay. I don't know. <laughs> That's a clown, does it? Whatever. I think I'll give it a shot. Huh? Oh, Tifa. As the lightest one here, I figure I've got the best chance. You two can sit back and watch. <sighs> oh, damn. Go get okay, him, Tifa. Guys. Wish me luck. You be careful. Aren't I always? Oh crap, that's awesome. Get him, Tifa. Tifa's so fucking cool in this game, man. <laughs> yeah. Uh we do have multiple <gasps> I see a way! I see a chest! I see chests that I likely could miss. It's definitely a weapon chest too. Right, that's not that's not like I can normally get. No, no, because I'm uh I'm on the other side of the force field. Okay, um. <gasps> oh shit! Oh shit! All oh, around the ass! Are you okay? I thought I was dead for sure. Oh, that would have fucking hurt. Good thing. Thank you, cushion. Okay, I thought I was I was gonna have to like choose where I hop to. Now I'm controlling Tifa. All right. Uh, ooh, got a bottle of the choo-choo train. Cool. The beautiful history of Midgar. In this garbage city we live in. Okay, I see it right there. There's a ladder. I think I do. I think I have to come at it from above. Oh, hi there. Ooh, $2,000. Hell yeah, Tifa needs a new bra. But what you mean, an actual bra? Because I don't wear one. God, Tifa, we get it. God, enough. Too much fan service. I'm going to drive this car through it. No, not yet. It's not yet time. This is a fucky looking motorcycle. You guys just keep the headlights on these things on at all times. You know, much that's got to waste the battery. Where, where, where am I going here? Oh, oh, here we go. Hey, that's the way. Can I hop over to the, oh, there we go. What we got? A pair of purple pain. Purple pain. <laughs> Not purple rain, it's purple pain. Uh, okay. Wait, I got some new armor? Oh, the cog bangle. I forgot I got it from that boss. A bangle inspired by the ever turning cogs of fate. That sounds incredibly dramatic. They're pretty good. Yeah, it's basically the even, the even one here. I want to give that to uh, give it to Barrett since he's the uh, resident tank here. Purple pain. Oh my god! Look at these things. Pretty sure that's pink game. Uh, leather gloves made from the hide of a ferocious beast. True strike. Deliver a tremendous blow at close range. Increase stagger da increase stagger damage bonus. Oh my god! That looks so fucking sick. Just big punch. I like it. God, I have 160 points to spend on this shit. I'm glad I'm still getting new weapons and stuff. Oh, Lord. Okay, I definitely see some uh, new material slots. So, you know. You know, don't even think about it. Just do it. Boom. All right. That knocks me up to six, too. Um, Okay. So, we've got uh, max 250 HP, speed, critical hit damage, and rate. Physical defense when low and match defense when low. 
No, attack power, magic power, bunch of health. Oh, this this makes this is gonna make Tifa actually into more of a tank. Speed, critical weapon ability, critical hit rate. 10% boost, critical hit damage. It also is the critical hit weapon. Umbral strength, 10% boost. Concentration activation, 70%. Fuck yes. 5% boost with low HP, cr critical hit rate boost. Yeah, this is the this is the critical weapon. This is her nail bat. Which probably means his overall stats are going to be like insane. But uh, it also gives her a lot of health though, which I do like. Go ahead, go ahead and do that. Health. Speed. Attack power. Magic power. More health. Okay, increase the probability of landing a critical hit. 10%. That damage to the critical hit. Critical hit rate with low HP. And speed. Hell yeah, get some of that fucking HP, girl. Finally. And a, another material slot to use. Okay, back we go. Hand over hand, huh? That's fine. Bring it on. Oh yeah! <laughs> this music just going the fucking... Do -do 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 -do. Keep, keep an eye out for any more booty aside from Tifa's. I swear to God, how many times are you going to say that fucking joke, Cloud? How many times are you going to talk about needing to take a shower? Follow the path. Tifa and her amazing parkour. <laughs> Cloud and Barrett are over there just getting like snacks from the vending machine. <laughs> Man, can I have some of your Skittles? Get your own Skittles. This isn't so bad. Pretty close now. Just need to make it over there. Oh god. Thank god every day's arm day for for Tifa. And leg day. And abs day. God damn this girl is fit. <sighs> Almost there. Just need to get across those platforms. <laughs> okay, woo! Alright, let's try this again. Do it do it do it. <laughs> Careful, Tifa. Careful. <laughs> okay, Kiris, can you actually go back this way? I don't think you can. Oh, no. The, I see. Yeah. You actually can't get on those ones that are over there. It's not on the, they're not even on the map. All right. Woo! Oh, I see. Press trial to, to increase the momentum here. Whoop. Whoop. Oh, there we go. That is a serious flaw in your system. I got to say, guys. <laughs> That's some fine work. Now, how do I get out of here? Uh, I might be able to disable security from here. Punch it. Huh? <laughs> Hot damn, girl. <sighs> but I didn't do anything. Shit, I'll take it. <laughs> so you can use that whatever to close to enough. The research facilities on. I think so. Give me a sec. Weird. We being Bingo. watched again. Professor Hojo's lab. 65th floor looks like. Oh god. Huh. Guess we can only get to the 59th floor via that fucking weirdo. Stairs. To access any level above that, we need to check in at the Skyview Hall reception. 59th floor it is then. Mm -hmm. Right. There's something else I'm gonna be curious about though, because in the original game you actually got another party member in this area. I'll be curious to see if we uh we do run into them in this or not. If that still happens. It seems like it'd be kinda late in the game to get a new party member, right? For at least a part one of just the Midgar section. I honestly wouldn't be surprised if they, they saved them for uh the next part or something. Okay, so now we have uh multiple ways to go here. The elevator. Oh, okay, so these are the stairs. Okay, so we do get the choice. We get the choice to take the elevator. Or to go uh, up the stairs. And you know we're... Of course we're going to take the fucking stairs. Of course. Of course. Let me save real quick. But I do want to check over here. Just to make sure there's not like a, ch a, ch a treasure chest in the elevator area. Oh god. Even the elevators though. They look just like the original. That that red light above them. I don't know. Something that was very iconic about that to me. Oh wait. Is there anything over here? Can I go in this exhibition hall? I can And there was actually a gift shop in the original game. Is there? Is it still here? I got a chest back here. And some sick bikes. An Iron Maiden. Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> Holy fucking defense materia. Oh my god, it has no slots though. 
An elegant yet macabre bangle inspired by an ancient instrument of horror. Forgoes material in favor of optimizing physical defense. Good lord. I mean, I suppose you could put it on Barrett if you wanted. It's the resident tank, but, uh, yeah, I, uh, I kind of need my materia. <laughs> Not having any slots is, uh, that's a big problem. All right, guys, it's time to take the stairs. It's the only way. Fuck the elevator. <laughs> I see. So, the, so this time, instead of going loud and proud or taking the sneaky way, it's just a choice between taking the elevator or taking the stairs. I do wonder if maybe the elevator maybe leads to more encounters, more battles, because maybe you'll like stop by like random spots and people will attack you, which I actually think yeah, that did actually happen in the original when you went loud in. I, I forgot there were moments where you do take the elevator and you, you would get uh, battles inside the elevator. Oh, a camera. Uh, got anything hidden over here? Oh, seriously, look at this. Look at like a prime spot right here. So there's the camera. Do you see how the camera sort of zoomed out a bit? I feel like I'm looking, looking through a fish lens or something. Anything? No? Clock, can we move faster, please? We're gonna have a lot of stuff. Oh my you God. got to be shitting me. <laughs> nope. We're a lot less likely to get caught this way. But a lot more likely to die of boredom. <laughs> it's only 59 floors. Nothing to it. Well, at least it ain't a race. Small blessing. Yes, that's right. Here we go. Now to ascend. It's dramatic music. <laughs> Starts playing the Rocky theme. More security. We're gonna be time we fight to get to the top. As long as you pace yourself, you'll be fine. Maybe we should take a quick break. Come on, Barrett. <laughs> okay, I was actually told apparently uh, by you guys that, that I actually should at some points try to go back down the stairs at like specific spots. I think you guys said like starting at like 20, floor 20, so because you get additional dialogue. So, okay, we'll do. You can stop if you want. You can even say it's for me. <laughs> Just say you can't hack it. I'll hack you, jackass! <laughs> but Tifa, I wasn't. Not now. Stay the <laughs> but Tifa, uh! Wait, I'm just kind of curious. Maybe. Is it floor. I can't remember if it was floor 10 or floor 20. Oh. It stops me, so. Okay. I didn't get anything that time, though. It must be floor 20. Oh, you actually start slowing down. I'm not, I'm not going as fast as I was at the start. Huh. <sighs> huh. <sighs> Cloud actually might get tired from this. The original game, like Tifa and Cloud were fine, but Barrett got so fucking exhausted. I mean, to be fair, this would burn the living shit out of your quads. <laughs> this music. <laughs> oh god, it's so epic. Uh... Oh god, this really is gonna take a while at the rate I'm going here. <sighs> 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 I love it. I love the music. It just makes it so dramatic. Oh my god. Okay. Wow, I really make this is we're making this seem a lot harder than, than the original. The original cloud is like, ah, whatever. Oh, yeah. Oh, burn. Feel the burn, baby. No pain, no gain. Ugh. Yeah. Damn, they're far they're way ahead of me. Guys, slow the fuck down. I guess these labs and shit are all the way at the very top. Yep, the very top. That's good to know. <laughs> Copy. I'll keep an eye on Barrett. <laughs> uh, thanks for. The assist. <laughs> Whatever. <laughs> Whatever. Bear was not made for this level, all right? He, he's all about that strength, right? Not the endurance. All right. Go back down the stairs. 
Do 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 It's funny how, like, I could barely hear him when I was down there, though. No, Claude's definitely feeling it this time around. He's not the fucking machine he was in the original game. Whoa, what the fucking meter? The beat drops suddenly. Barrett? 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 You can't bear it? Hey, up there? Be nice if there's conveni conveniently uh, just a chair sitting here for me to sit in. <laughs> you hear that? It's like it was like. <laughs> I think there was the music, but it almost sounds like someone like panting. Like, uh, uh, uh. oh my god, this would be uh, would be quite brutal. Hey, just a few floors behind you. <laughs> I've got, like, a stair <laughs> <laughs> Okay, so back down again. Jesus Christ, Tifa. This is nothing to Tifa. Good God. She works out all the fucking time, doesn't she? She's a fucking machine, all right? Cloud may not be the machine anymore. Tifa's the real machine. I can't hear you. Back to talking. Oh my god. Lore, what? I was expecting lore. Do you want to know more? Ask her yourself. Yeah, okay. Not your place. I respect that. So you respect the buzzkill? Huh? <laughs> ah! <laughs> ah! I can't understand nothing anymore. Ah! Cloud knows how to pace himself. Oh, there's Steva. Tired? I was, but I'm feeling okay now. What are we waiting for? Let's roll! <laughs> You really are doing better. Oh! We, we gotta keep moving. Oh, I didn't actually realize in the bottom right corner, if you look where our HPs are, it actually shows what floor each of us is on. Oh my God, that's fucking amazing. Who's the lead? <laughs> this is amazing. Hard to argue with that. Let's go. Woo! Yeah! Woo! Woo! Jesus Christ, guys. Whoa, Clyde, Clyde is really slowing down. This is as fast as I can get him to go. Oh, God. Okay. Come on, Cloud. Work through the pain, man. Uh, uh, climbing a stairway to fucking hell, baby. Uh, 40th floor. Space and aeronauts. Oh, fuck it. I gotta go back down. Bright side going down slightly faster. That's so why I thought for sure they'd give Cloud shit like, Where are you going, man? Well, especially in this kind of fluff dialogue. Oh, didn't that time. Oh, wait. There we go. Tifa's feeling it now. 
Klaus slowed down, but he's not panting or anything. He's just like, eh, whatever. Sure about that? <laughs> Oh god, I can hear Barrett. Yeah. I wonder if he gets something if you beat him up there. Or if he I wonder if he can beat him up there. But tell me. These stairs all these stairs never gonna end. I was joking. God. God, Barrett. <laughs> this is fantastic. I love this, man. I like nobody's nobody's combing these stairs because no one thought anyone would be crazy enough to try to climb up 60 flights of stairs. Ah, oh, come on, Cloud. Worst route ever. Give me a suicidal last stand. At least. At least. At least that would have me. Let's shut up. Yes, yes. <laughs> Why? Why? Please! Because wishing for trouble might bring it. Yep. And you're in no state to fight anyway. So, what should I do? Not die. Shut up and move. No, Cloud's starting to... You can hear him panting. Oh, God. <laughs> oh, Cloud's really starting to lose it now. Oh, my God. I feel the pain, man. I actually feel it in his movement. Just like, oh. Uh, oh. Uh. Stairmaster. You didn't prepare me for this. Oh. Uh. He's not even going down the stairs fast anymore. I can't speak. Kim and Claire, how are we talking anymore? If only. <laughs> if only. How can we hear each other? Honestly, I actually wouldn't be able to hear you at all if it wasn't for the subtitles. Looks like Tiva stopped at around 4.55 here. Come on, Cloud. We got this, man. We're on the final stretch. Uh, uh, uh. Ten more, Cloud. Come on. Not gonna let Barrett beat you out here. I like the music is slowed down too. Da, 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 da. <laughs> Tifa's on floor 56. All right, she's still going. Come on, Cloud. Come on. No pain, no game, baby. Oh, yeah. Come on, guys. I haven't seen Barrett at all since I started this shit. Uh. This sucks. I want to go back. <laughs> it's too late, Barrett. You want to go down all those stairs you just climbed? I see him. Baron, I'm catching up. <laughs> Carry on my way, fat ass. Fuck you, Clap. You ain't carrying a fucking 80 pound gun on your waist. No, I'm carrying a 200 pound sword. Another day, another struggle. Climbing stairs, so much trouble. <laughs> Come on, Barrett. You're fine, all right? You're fucking fine. Oh, you and Tifa's out of breath. Ha! <sighs> ah! Ah! We did it! 
We did it! We just all go to the edge of the railing and just vomit. Blah! Need a bench. The real challenge starts now. Okay, let's go. All right, back we go. <laughs> we made it. What in the fuck is that? 70, 80, 90, 100%. Material? 110. Mako super saturation confirmed. Oh my god. <laughs> Fucking scar! Oh my God! Is she using that guy's a footstool? cooling to reduce temperature. Scarlet, what are you doing? You fucking weirdo! What is this music? Madame Director, you have a meeting shortly. Stop! Your timing is impeccably atrocious. <laughs> Mako density and materia integrity are both holding steady. Registering mass increase in core materia. <sighs> Why does anyone work here? Daisy <laughs> looking away right as we pass by. Oh god. Wait, what? Did someone erase the footage? Show me something truly exquisite. Was it the ghost again? What in the fuck? Uh, contaminants registered. Uh, leaving. Materia growth accelerating, outpacing models, registering crystallization within the reserve tanks. The reaction is out of control. No oh god! It quickly. Clean up the mess, would you? Man. <laughs> that guy's just crawling along. So this is the Skyview Hall, huh? Bet this place cost a fortune and then some. Let's look for reception. Oh god. Bring the camera back in again. Uh hello there, sir. Please, just let my wife and daughter be safe. That fucking music it was playing too. Uh okay. I have a feeling this is gonna be just like the previous game though, where each floor is just like own puzzle in some ways. Check it out. Come take a look, Cloud. Oh, wow. Damn fools. Hmm? Ones who come here at night to take in the view. So pretty and marvelous and beautiful. But every little light burning bright runs off her blood. And bit by bit they bleed her, never stopping to think how it'll end for them. <laughs> yeah. Terrible but beautiful all the same. <sighs> She's getting anime as fuck. So the music in the back, like, oh yeah. Is that Scarlet singing? Stop you from murdering the planet, dummy! Yeah, so there's one of the reactors that was destroyed. Uh, oh, and that's number five. See the numbers I'm underneath it? So Authorization key cards required, of course. Now oh, let's take the elevator back down. <laughs> let's do that again! Swear to God, Cloud. Key cards been updated to a visitor's pass. Sure. Visitors have access to floors 60, 61, 62, as well as floor 63. You will proceed in that order. By the exit of each floor, you will find a device that will allow you to update the key card in your possession, thereby allowing you to access the next floor. Ah -ha! And now begins your grand tour. Please enjoy the Shinra experience. Oh my god. This whole thing gotta be such a big pain in the <laughs> I don't know about you, but this is kind of weird. You think everything's going too well? Yeah, I do. Think this is a trap? Ha! 
If it is, then bring it on. Let's get this party started. It's like an interactive tour. <laughs> That's hilarious. To be fair, I, I know it's kind of funny that you would walk around up here and no one gave you like a second glance, even though like uh, we kind of stand out a bit. I do hope we get the Shinra theme though. That, like, this music's nice, but I want to get the dun 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 dun. Cards just to get anywhere. This is Shinra HQ. The how did you expect? Says the former company man himself. Guess you'd know about all the rules, regulations, and red tape. It's like coming home, huh? Come on, man. I thought we were past that. Until Avalanche is stopped, it's only gonna get worse. Uh, going up the stairs! God damn Avalanche! They all deserve to die! God damn, Doodly! Fuck you, man. Your corporation is hilariously evil. Up we go. Yes, every reactor, every pillar. Reeve. Like I said, a full inspection. There's no telling what kind of damage there might be. If you see anything, anything out of the ordinary, I want to know. <sighs> Sorry to bother you, sir. No, it's fine. I have brought the damage assessment for Sector 7 you requested. Reeve looking like Keanu Reeves. <laughs> hey, that's look at Kurt Reeve. Keanu Reeve. Oh my God! It makes sense. Keanu Reeve. <laughs> Perhaps you should try and get some sleep. No, not yet. I need to finish preparing my draft of the reconstruction plan before tonight's board meeting. <sighs> Whatever reasons they might have had, destroying an entire sector is—it's beyond the pale. Director. I would strongly advise you not to say such things outside of this room. <sighs> Don't I know it? Uh-oh. Master Xehanort? Wait, who the fuck is that? It's not Hojo, I would think. Didn't look like him. Memorial. Okay. Museum. Let's have a look. Present Shinra exhibit. Oh my god. Not Welcome tacky at all. Our humble home. Oh, hell no. Here, in the Memorial Museum, you can learn all about our president, as well as the various divisions that make up the company. And oh, here it is. The city of Midgar and the miracle of Mako Energy. Whatever takes your fancy, you're sure to learn something new. Here's the Shinra theme. Yeah, yeah, shut up. I was waiting for. Oh, my God. Na, da, na, 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 na. Interesting. So we had a library in the original. I don't think we had a museum. I think this is totally new. I think we had a cafeteria at one point. Um, what the fuck? He's got a gun underneath him. It's really like he studied. We got some president lore. Actually, it might be good because we don't really learn a whole lot about the president in the original game. To be honest. I think I just threw up a little. Man thinks very highly of himself. His golden gun. Would one shot people and 007 multiplayer game. Hmm. Ba, 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 ba. God, the lighting in this. It's just so good, man. Look at this. This shit's amazing. Hey, everybody. How's the grand tour? Uh. Oh, Jesus Christ. That was super cool. There was Hojo and Scarlet. Heidegger, your best pal. Wow, this is so cool, man. 
I love this. Reeve! Health and safety, right? So when he's from... Ah, oh, fucking hell, Palmer. I don't even know what Palmer's doing here. Moving along. The next exhibit will teach you about the important work we do here. By giving you a closer look at each of our divisions. I hope you're ready to be amazed, because you simply won't believe ah. the exciting adventures we have here. I see you, Cloud. I see you too, dickhead. These all look so familiar. Oh, jeez. Uh, yeah. You think? Guys, do you have any idea how many sweepers we've killed up to this point? Seriously, so many sweepers. So many. Hello, ma'am. The advanced weaponry exhibit is currently undergoing maintenance. We apologize for the inconvenience. That's true, actually. There was an area where you learned about the advanced weaponry and... Oh, no, it was all the library, I think. Wow. This is cool, though. Ew. Seriously, who designed this one, all right? Who decide, decided, yeah, we need a little floaty, weird-looking thing with a lifelike looking eyeball on top of it? Oh. Oh, God. Is that Palmer? Is Palmer going to talk to me? What? What? Uh, read this? This paper right here? Uh, give me a moment. <laughs> I like that they kept that in there. Welcome to the Shinra building. The Space and Aeronautics Division has taken rocket systems developed for military applications and adapted them to a different purpose. To search for new precious resources in the infinite reaches of space. That being said, since we have plenty of Mako at the present, those plans are currently on hold. It's a bit of a shame, really. Weird ass Palmer. Oh Jesus Christ! There's Hojo. That's now that is the Hojo I remember. Uh, welcome to Shinra headquarters. My duties as director of research and development are, in all likelihood, far beyond your ability to comprehend. Oh my God! Is that fucking Vexen? So there will be no presentation, as it would be a waste of my time. <laughs> sure, we are making great strides. Albeit not at this particular moment, because I'm filming this rubbish instead. I believe I've wasted enough of my precious time as it is. Science waits for no one, after all. So, good day. I don't know. I can't tell. It sounds a bit like him. It sounds like Vexen slash Kokichi slash Ashita. I mean, honestly, I mean, he did Vexen, and Vexen in so many ways was like Hojo. <laughs> That's This is perfect, though. They're nailing Hojo's personality dead on. Fucking love it already. Cool. Third class soldiers. Uh, big robo hand reaching to the sky. Oh, God, Heidegger. Hi there. Would you like to be a grunt like this guy that can die in like three hits? The public security exhibit is currently undergoing maintenance. We apologize for the inconvenience. Okay, so I see. Yes, public security is headed by Heidegger. Research development by Hojo. Palmer Space and Aeronauta, Aer Aeronautics. That's right. And advanced weaponry is Scarlet. It's probably because these guys didn't want to fucking voice this stupid shit, right? I can't. I can't even believe they like decided to include Palmers and Hojos in here. Flying guys. Map of Sector Eight. Whoa! Look at this. Oh, urban planning. Is this Reeve's plan for Midgar? Yeah, I don't think we're ever going to get there, man. It doesn't, that looks way too clean for Midgar. Welcome to the Shinra building. Our mission here at Urban Planning is to supply the residents of Midgar with energy created from Mako. We also take pride in maintaining public infrastructure, the pillars and railways that run all throughout the city. Currently, we are working to construct an intraplate expressway. Ooh. When this project has been completed, it will provide much easier access to numerous locations all across Midgar. We appreciate your patience and understanding in the meantime. Reeve, haven't you heard? They're planning to ditch this Midgar. This place is going to be fucked at some point. As you can probably already gather here. Reeve is like one of the only good ones of, of the higher ups here at uh, Shinra. It's actually cool though. I like the way they're doing this. It's making it a lot easier to like 
gather information and understand like the the structure and the hierarchy of this facility. Sure. There's the fountain that blew up earlier. Don't look that nice anymore. I know because I was there. Oh, that's where I saw your earth for the first time. Gotta say, though, whoever did the CGI work on this did a good job. Come on, guys! Claire, what the hell was that? Sorry, I don't know. It just kind of popped out. This oh! This is Midgar, our home. Recreated in one ten thousand scale. Oh, my God. As you can see... This actually was in the original. Mako reactors form a ring around the center of our city and keep Midgar running day and night. I kind of forgot about this. The Mako, which flows beneath our feet, is a truly limitless resource. At Shinra, we have developed technologies to extract it and transform it into the fuel and electricity that powers everything we do. Oh, some music, Thanks man. the miracle of Mako Energy, our lives are richer and better than ever before. Cure the sinister aura in Mako there. Mako keeps our lights on at night and made Midgar into the city that never sleeps. A triumph of technology and testament to man's potential. Nothing but a bunch of lies. Except that Mako has made people's lives better. It's made people blind. Blind to the cold hard truth. Even I used to buy into their bullshit. Remembering that makes me Ooh. madder. Ooh, getting a little sneak peek at uh, Barrett's backstory too. Which I, I'm pretty sure we will not go into detail in this game. Damn, man. Look like we're getting little pieces for this like we did in the original. In the original game, you actually get like... It was like a puzzle where you had to get pieces for this giant... Uh, uh, scale diorama of Midgar. Damn, man. This game is something else. Congratulations! You can call yourself a proud Shinra scholar. <gasps> yeah! Now, moving along. Next, you'll learn about our progress in advanced science and technology. I like we're the only ones taking this tour. I can go up there. It's the fucking gold saucer. <laughs> well, hi there. It's your old pal. Been in the Chocobo. Hall, where we showcase Shinra's cutting edge technology through an immersive visual and audio experience. Please relax and enjoy the show. Cosmos Theater. Oh my God. They have like an IMAX theater. I don't want to though. Let me out of here. Please stay and enjoy the ah, show. Ah, fine, fine. Fuck. Cosmos Theater, huh? It. Oh my god, it is. The IMAX Dome. Is this pre rendered? This is empty. Oh, this is definitely pre rendered. What the hell? Uh oh. Holy mother of God. I think I might start throwing up. <laughs> if that were me. Whoa. Ah! Oh God. IMAX technology's gotten too powerful. In the distant past, our planet was home to a people we call the ancients. Whoa. Many this is cool. Discovered Mako, these precursors were already pioneering its use. Wow, Somehow look at this. Of the great reservoir of energy pulsing beneath their feet. We never got a glimpse of this in the original game. Of what the ancients were supposedly like. And once they had... Oh, God. The ancients developed the means to harness this bountiful energy and bend it to their will. Make it to little balls. The fruits of their labors have survived to this very day in the form of certain kinds of materia. 
their scripture too has endured. We who are born of the planet, with her we speak, her flesh we shape. Whoa! Unto her promised land shall we one day return. Wait, was that Bahamut? By her loving grace and providence. That was Leviathan for a second, but. In paradise. Alas, the ancients themselves are long gone. 2,000 years ago, a meteor brought an end to their civilization. A meteor, meteor destroyed planet Vegeta. But before their fiery end, did the ancients find their promised land? I like to think they did. Even now, we have only to wonder. Oh my god, these pre-render graphics are insane. Times have changed, and the Shinra electric power companies are changing and evolving with them. Like the ancients, we have harnessed the power of Mako. Oh my god, that's so cool. Are they out there watching us? Waiting for us to join them in some blessed corner of the world. A green inverted land where boundless Mako energy will provide for our every need. Shinra is working for you to fulfill the hope of the ancients and lead us to that promised land. We shall not rest until our dream is realized. Not gonna lie, it's a pretty impressive presentation. That it? Oh god! Uh, what? What in the fuck? Uh, are they seeing this? This isn't me like hallucinating. Holy fucking shit! Whoa! Guys, stop spoiling the rest of the game, Square. Oh, Cloud is totally imagining no. this. Oh my god. This shit. Oh dear, a man of my refined tastes running out of butter. <laughs> yeah, sure Palmer. Proper accompaniment to this tea might as well be boiled pond water. Oh, <laughs> dude, fucking gross. What the fuck? What? Did he see him? No, it, it couldn't possibly have been crazy ass thing made me want to puke and not just because of the presentation but the content too ought to come with a warning that ain't for kids <laughs> that wasn't just a movie that huge meteor what was that about like i said nothing you should show a kid what no they did see that what the fuck is going on dude huh and then sephiroth seemingly Oh, wait, 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 okay, no, 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 I forgot, okay, I forgot, I forgot, sorry, the Sephiroth thing walking by Palmer actually is not, I was like, wait a minute, wait, that is making, no, that makes sense, actually, it does make sense, that, that makes sense, this part, though, with showing the, the meteor coming down, uh, in this presentation here, and Sephiroth and the other cloak dudes, that was definitely, uh, unusual. Hmm. Okay, get me out of here. Congratulations! You can call yourself a proud Shinra expert! Your mission is to go out and tell everyone about the wonders of Shinra. Next, you'll be visiting the repository for Shinra's expertise and know-how. Please make your way to the 62nd floor, the corporate archive. What the? Uh-oh. Oh, Frodo? Oh. Greetings and welcome, Avalanche, I presume. Oh. My name is Hart, and it's a pleasure to meet you. You're the mayor, aren't you? Oh. I've come to escort you to Mayor Domino, per his request. Oh, no. The mayor of Midgar? The empty soup that's just a mouthpiece for Shinra? Yeah. 
Yes. That's right. I forgot about that. Okay. It, 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 this, <laughs> this is cool. Okay. So in the original, there was just like this area. You meet the mayor and his little dude. This little dude helps you with a, a riddle for the mayor. Uh, but you, I could barely tell what he fucking looked like. His model was so squeezed down and tiny in the original game. I could. That's why I'm like, wait, is this the mayor? No, this is actually his little buddy. This is the guy that gives you the tips. The mayor of our dear Midgar. The most magnificent city ever built, that Mayor Domino. Yes. The Visual Entertainment Hall has been experiencing technical difficulties of late, and he suspected that these difficulties might impede your progress. So what does the Mayor want with us? I'm afraid um, you'll have to ask him that yourself. Technical difficulties. Something tells me that wasn't supposed to be in there. Yes, we're supposed to follow. We keep getting these flashes of the future here. Which seems to be maybe related to the ghosts. So maybe the ghost fucked with it a bit. Oh, the corporate archives. Here we go. We can have a goofy uh, riddle to solve like in the original. Holy shit, they made this more expensive. Look at this place. R2-D2... Library bot. So what? You telling me the mayor's some kind of crazy bookworm? <sighs> you see the guy looking at us earlier? No. No, it's probably that was probably the mayor watching us earlier. He was he was bald, right? Now, in the original game, meeting the mayor was not this big thing here. It was just kind of like you ran into him and he was like, I'll give you the key card to the next area if you do this thing for me. Well, hello there. Okay. Why did they make a secret staircase there? I don't know. We just like the extravagant here at Shinra headquarters. Through here. If this is a trap, you're a dead man, you hear? Yes, I know. I know. It's all right. I'm already dead. The mayor is waiting. <gasps> Chest! The mayor is waiting. God damn it. Fine. This can't be right. Oh boy. Hi. Ah, wonderful. You finally made it. Oh. <laughs> He's the one that changed the I footage. I am the mayor of the great metropolis of Mako. Domino, at your service. Hmm. Yeah. He, he was the one that altered <laughs> the footage. Three haven't exactly been discreet. <laughs> hey. I wonder who's been cleaning up all your messes. What the hell's going on? Come on, think about it. You've been caught by security several times, walked in front of every other camera, and scared an accountant half to death. Do you hear the alarm? No? You're welcome. <sighs> hmm. Hmm. I can only assume your cell wasn't looped in. I am Avalanche's man on the inside. Say what? What? Huh. Is it really that surprising to you? You've seen where they put me. The mayor of the greatest city in the whole wide world, tucked away in a secret broom closet in the damned archives. The nerve. Those stupid Shinra pricks thought I'd just shut up and accept their treatment. But they were wrong. Interesting. Dead wrong. Huh. Well, this ought to make things easier. We need to break into Professor Hojo's lab. What? Why? You mean you're not here to give President Shinra his comeuppance? We're here to save a friend who was taken. But the president's going to get his, too, if I have anything to say about it. Mm. Need to rest my legs after that walk. Well, I don't particularly care what you end up doing, so long as it hurts Shinra. Great. So, 
I can get you as far as the 64th floor. Hold up. You're telling me that that's the best you can do? That is indeed the best that I can do. But you're the mayor. But you're the mayor? Does this look like the office of a mayor? I'm a glorified librarian, nothing more. They don't even invite me to their meetings. Sorting records and reports, that's all I do. My hands and fingers have more paper cuts than skin. No one knows <laughs> my pain, my daily torment. Nobody! They made me a pathetic shell of a man. Uh, uh, okay, they did you wrong like us, but we'll make it right. So just calm down. Deep breaths, man. Deep breaths. <laughs> hmm. Let me see that key card of yours. Here you are. You can now use it to access the recreational facility on the 63rd floor. Okay. And then what are we supposed to do? You look for a fellow Avalanche collaborator. Identify yourselves and he'll give you a key card to the 64th. The countersign is... The mayor is the best! Midgar's mayor is nothing less! Uh. Everyone says he's cooler than the rest! Uh. <laughs> really? Yeah, really. Just say mayor to the guy, and if he goes the best with gusto, then you found your man. You got it? Interesting. Interesting. So, okay. Okay. So this is it's similar but not totally the same how it went in the original. So in the original game, you came in here, and like I said, it wasn't a big deal. You just walked in, and the mayor's in this room by himself, and he's like, like, I, I want to stick it to Shidra for basically putting me in this fucking nowhere, right? Middle of nowhere. He didn't say he was actually like a, a member of Avalanche or anything, or an Avalanche member on the inside. He just said, I I, I want you to uh, pay it forward to fucking Shinra and, you know, to get, get some payback for me. But in order to do it, you have to solve a, a riddle of his. Uh, the answer isn't obvious. Like, it's just like, He's like, he's looking for a secret code. So then you walk outside the room and Hart, the guy we saw earlier, is out there and he gave you tips on how to solve it. Uh, basically, yeah, I think you actually had to pay him too to be able to get those tips. And then you have to go around and solve the riddle using like the different library books around around the room. And the answer was always different. Like it wasn't always the same in every playthrough. It was kind of cool though. It was, it was interesting, uh, interesting puzzle to solve. But this time it looks like he's just, he's just helping us right off the bat. If you think you've found the collaborator, say, Mayor, and see if he says, the best. You got it now? I've done everything I can for you. Now don't make me regret doing it. All right, Mayor McCheese, we'll do our best. God damn it, get the fuck out of here if I change my mind. I wonder if I can look around the books here, though. Get some more additional lore. Hey, you gonna give me any tips like you did in the original game? Anything? If you require additional assistance, please do not hesitate to ask. So can you tell us anything about this collaborator? Oh, certainly I could do just that. But a man in my position must conduct his affairs with discretion. Oh. Which is to say that that which has been requested cannot be freely given, if you take my meaning. You want money! Disclosing confidential is <laughs> considerable risk. Due compensation is to be expected. Oh my god, we are doing this. Instance, that would amount to 10,000 gil. Rip us off more, why don't you? Do feel free to come again at any time. Hmm. Interesting. Okay, so we, we actually, we do, we can enlist this guy's help. But I mean, it doesn't sound that hard. I just go up to somebody and say mayor and see if they say the best. It sounds complicated. See what, he, see what he says. The 64th floor is reserved for our executives. The individual you seek is fastidious and well-dressed. This individual likes to visit the 63rd floor to decompress from the stress of the job. That really all you got for us? Oh, are you dissatisfied with your purchase? How unfortunate. Perhaps this will help preserve our relationship. Huh? <gasps> An expression of my gratitude and appreciation. Huh, that's better. There, now you're talking, old man! Holy shit, okay! 
Oh god, I'm glad I did that. <laughs> I was actually like, I don't know if I want to spend money on this. I mean, it's not like... I think that's probably pretty easy to find. That, that was cool. I think it was more just a nod to the original game, honestly. Like, I don't think it's probably going to be hard to find this guy. Uh, or there's, there's going to be any, like, repercussions. The gimmick of the original was if you got the answer on the first try with the, the mayor, you got some additional items, right? But if you messed it up, then you didn't get them. And you missed out on some uh, some good shit. Which was why I was like, you really wanted to figure out the answer before you, you came to the mayor. But I think in this case, I mean, I think it would probably, you would be fine, right? But if they just wanted to do like a little nod, like, hey, and you, you, act, you asked for the, the help here. You paid 10,000 bucks and he gave you now a, a weapon for Barrett. Fuck yes. EKG cannon. Holy shit. Oh, this is actually the cannon. This is the gun I think I saw in that, uh, that one video when I was looking at the uh, other scenes uh, outside of Aerith's house. A firearm whose accuracy is dependent upon the wielder's emotional state. What in the hell? A point blank. Assumes all ATB charges deliver a close range attack and sends enemies flying. Holy fuck. That is sick. Is there like a sticky bomb to them? Oh, fine. I feel fine. I'm so, I'm so, okay. Is is this actually a, this? No, this is a gun though, right? Yeah. It's not a, an actual close range weapon. All right, what we got? See the material slots. Oh, I see many material slots. Um, magic attack power, 300 HP, critical hit rate and damage. This is his critical, his critical weapon as well. Like uh, what Tifa had. Um, critical hit rate as well. I think it is. Yep, just like Tifa's. Critical hit rate, physical defense, magic defense with low HP. Uh, all right, take that material slot. Oh, this Link's one of them. Cool. Uh, oh, wait, there's another one over here. Hey, all right, cool. I saw the new weapons are getting to have six material slots on them. Attack power, match attack power, HP plus th 350, attack damage, overcharge damage, critical hit damage again. Yep, it's all about that critical hit, baby. Critical hit damage, HP. Also, actually, it's, it's also got quite a bit of magic on this as well. Okay, magic. Chris probably landing critical hit with an ability. Might be good for him if, if each of like his bullet attacks counts as like his own attack. So there's like a chance of a critical being in there. Uh, it increases probably land critical when HP is 20% lower. 350 health. Attack power plus 10. I still can't believe the mayor is working with Avalanche. Mayor. Would have been nice to know. Idiots at HQ should have kept us in the loop. <laughs> mayor very best. Mayor very best. <laughs> You're like programmable to say that. He's stuck in here. Might as well, right? Ooh, three thousand dollars. Like, just in case you don't have the money to pay this guy. I don't know if I'll be able to read any of the books in here, though. Although to be fair, most of the lore I just got in that museum kind of was the lore you got in the original. <laughs> Wait a minute, is that a reference to the fucking Mako explosive? Because in the original game, a lot of the answers that you usually get was Mako or Bomb. That was like the answer to the riddle. Shinra, very bad. Mayor, very bad. <laughs> Mayor, very bad? Hmm? No, dumb machine. I very best. Mayor, explosive. Explosive. Machines don't know what the fuck's going on. Can I Can I actually go in the center? I can't. Aw. All right, well, that, that was, uh, wasn't really much of a riddle this time. It was just kind of a nice little nod, but that's all right, honestly. I'm okay with it. I always thought the riddle of the original was kind of clever how you had to solve it. All right, going up. Oh, God. So, about this precious promised land of yours. <gasps> Aerith. Come now, Aerith. You misunderstand my intentions. I wish only to satisfy their material greed so I can be left to pursue my great work. Our great work. Oh, Hojo, you're so gross looking, man. Hmm. You're the spitting image of her now. Oh, this theme. I regret it to this day. If she had only trusted me instead of trying to run, it could have played out quite differently. I can't tell if it is Vexen's voice actor. To lose the last of the pure blooded ancients. It's very similar, but I don't know if it's quite him or not. Though not completely, 
Would you like to see your mother? Albeit through the lens of one of my microscopes. Did you really think we'd leave such a precious specimen to rot in the gutter? Ugh. We collected and cataloged every last bit of her. Oh my Hair, god. Skin, organs, every fragment of every bone. As breathtaking in death as in life. As you, my dear, if Valna was elegance, right down to her cellular structure. Jesus. Ugh. <laughs> and there it is, that same elegance. Oh, yes. Time for yet another meeting. Sit tight. I won't be long. Aerith just sitting there awkwardly like, eh, this guy's gross. <sighs> oh, God, Hojo, really? They really the nasted you up here. Where loyal Shinra employees relax and recharge. It's pretty late, but I bet people are still here dealing with the aftermath of Sector 7. It's their own damn fault. Stay focused. We need to find this guy. Yeah, yeah. Guess I better get working on my conversation skills. Actually, I think the recreational fit city also had like treadmills and shit. <laughs> it's really funny. Actually, this might be where the locker room is, but guys, we're going to have to say that for next time. Uh, so this is like one of the games I just don't want to stop playing. I don't ever want to stop playing, but I got it for now. Um, this is great so far. It's amazing. I'm loving this. I, lo I loved the stair section. Oh my God. It was as beautiful and wonderful and hilarious as I hoped it would be. And I love the music and how dramatic it was. Even Cloud got tired this time. But they actually kind of added the effect of that feeling of like, oh, man. Because then originally, you just really just kind of blaze up the stairs, right? You didn't slow down. It was only Baron T for that really, like, started getting kind of tired. But uh, anyway, guys, I hope you all enjoyed this episode. If you did, please leave a like and a favorite. And subscribe if you're not ready to become Piggy Penguin. Boy, this cell P, where the days are always sunny and the vids are always funny. And as always, guys, till next time, stay classy.